AZ Drummer is a great tool for writing and producing quality percussion tracks without the tedious setup and miking of a live kit. With dozens of expansion kits and a wide range of combinations, it's able to produce quality sound worthy of any mix. But what if you wanted to expand its sound a step further? Let's dive into mixing AZ Drummer inside FL Studio. All right, so the first thing I want to do is open an instance of Easy Drummer. For this example, I'll be using the default Made of Metal kit, but the steps I'm going to cover can be applied to any kit within Easy Drummer. Next, I'll head over to VST Wrapper Settings and Processing. From here, I'll click Auto Map Outputs, which you can see are now applied incrementally. I'll next head over to the Easy Drummer Mixer tab. As you can see by default, all of the mixer outs are set to stereo out 1-2. So that my Easy Drummer mixer outs can be assigned to individual FL Studio mixer tracks. I'm going to assign these in sequence, starting with kick and ending with reverb. I now have a total of 9 Easy Drummer mixer outs routed to my FL Studio mixer. Because they're a group set, I can easily designate which mixer insert I want my kit to start at. For this example, I'll choose insert 10. For additional ease of use, I'll go ahead and color and label my new drum inserts. To further my processing, I'll create a drum submix insert which I'll route my kit to. Here I can make some final tweaks before my sound flows out to the master. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more, feel free to like, subscribe, and drop a word down in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.